Welcome to Electronic Devices and Circuits Lab. In the today's lab, we are going to learn how to obtain the input and output characteristics of common emitter NPN bipolar junction transistor. So here you can see in the picture, uh, this is our output characteristics of common emitter uh, BJT and this is our input characteristics of our common emitter uh, bipolar junction transistor. In this case, we have taken the NPN transistors. Okay. So first of all, we have to uh, make the circuit how to obtain the input and the output characteristics. You must remember in the input characteristics, you can see that in the uh, uh, this is the curve between the base emitter voltage and base current. Okay, it is IB, which is the order of microampere. So that you remember, this is, should be obtained for uh, base emitter voltage drop with respect to the current, which is flowing through the emitter terminal and at the various values of the common emitter voltage. We see equals to 1 volt, we see equals to 10 volt, we see equals to 20 volt, like that. Okay. And then we have to obtain this input characteristic. Similarly, to obtain the output characteristics, you remember that this uh, voltage should be over common emitter voltage. Okay. And that can be varied from 0 to 20 volts. And then we have to plot the corresponding collector current. And the order of the collector current will be in the milliampere range where this is our different uh, values of base current okay like 10 microamperes 20 microamperes 30 microamperes and so on so this is our output characteristic so let's begin the uh, discussion how to make the circuitry on multisim and how to obtain this particular characteristics so to obtain this one okay we have to go to the multisim okay so go to the multisim and then we have to make the circuitry so for making the circuitry, you have to bring uh, the required components into the model and then you have to make the proper connection. So just go to this component tab here. You can go to the transistors. Okay. So first you go to the component tab and then you can click on to this and then you can uh, this database will be opened and here you have to take the NPN transistor. For simplicity in most of the laboratory uh, BC548 is actually readily available. So here for conducting this experiment, I'm also using the same model. So you just search for BC548 and that particular transistor we can use for making our circuitry. So here we can uh, search it. Okay. So here we can see, here we can see it is SCSD now you can see Okay, so now we are getting some BC series. So here we have to take the VC 548. Okay, so we can go to this and then we can get okay. So now we are getting this BC 548 BP. So any transistor you can take for your experiment, but because this transistor is readily available in the laboratory, so I'm doing this experiment by using this particular uh, model of your NPN transistor. So you can take this and bring it to your model. Now we have to bring one register. So go to the basics. Okay, here we have to go to the basics and then we have to take the register. So select the register. You can bring the register into your model. Later on, we can change the value. Then <coughs> we need one power supply. So go to this and go to the sources. You can bring the power supply. So go to the power source. We have to take the DC power supply. You take the DC power supply, bring it into your model. We need two, so we have to bring it one more, okay? Then we have to obviously bring the ground, okay? So go to the ground and select this one, and then you just put it into your model. Now we can close this particular database, and now we have to make the interconnection. Before making the interconnection, okay, first of all, we have to make it uh, 100 kilo ohm. This resistance should be very high, okay? At the collector circuit, we don't need to connect anything. Okay. So what we have to do is we have to make the proper connection. So as we know that we have to measure the um, base emitter voltage and we have to also measure the base current. Okay. So we have to connect one ammeter in the series and, uh, and one voltmeter in the parallel so that uh, we will be able to measure the uh, required quantity. Similarly, we have to measure the collector current and we have to measure the collector emitter drop. So just bring this uh, multimeter into your model. So go to this, uh, here you will get the instrument multimeter. Okay, we have to bring the uh, total uh, four number of multimeters. Okay, so just bring it here. You can bring it, okay, into the models. So we have to bring it and then we have to make it a proper connection, fine. 
so now this ground should be connected to your uh, this emitter terminal now this should be connected in series okay so now it is connected in series then this resistance should be connected to this power supply and then this power supply should be connected to your ground okay now this has to be connected in parallel okay so how to make it parallel just you connect it here okay we just connect this one and then this should be connected to this particular point okay so this way we can make our connection now uh, here again you have to connect this multimeter in series okay so just connect this one you remember that if you are measuring the current okay uh, if it is showing negative you have to properly connect your uh, uh, means terminals right if i am connecting like positive connected to this side and negative is connected to this side you must be aware of what the convention of the current okay if it is flowing from positive terminal to negative obviously it will be uh, positive current it will indicate if it is flowing from negative to positive then it will be a uh, means it will show you a negative current you remember that the current will flow in this direction okay in this direction so current will be showing negative but you have to take it positively right it should be positive fine now you have to connect this uh, voltmeter again first you make this connections complete this connections now you can connect the voltmeter okay so just connect this voltmeter to this particular collector point and this should be connected to your ground now just to ensure that this particular multimeter is acting as a emitter just double click on now it is selected as a voltage okay so we have to measure the dc quantity dc quantity is selected we have to make it current okay because we want to measure the current now this should be able to measure the voltage so it is measuring the voltage it is a dc quantity i'm just keeping this all input parameter one side okay so these are the these are the important uh, means these are the two uh, parameters which is uh, coming from the input circuitry okay now this is our another multimeter which is measuring the current so just make it ampere okay now this should be measuring your voltage okay so now we have to begin the experiment so we have to obtain the input and output characteristics to obtain this uh, first we have to perform the input characteristics okay so now while doing the input characteristics okay uh, please see this particular <coughs> uh, this particular uh, uh, table okay first you see this particular table so to obtain the input characteristics first of all we have certain v input and that v input has to be varied okay and the data should be obtained for various values of our common uh, means uh, uh, collector emitter voltage so that should be obtained for 1 volt 10 volt or 20 volt okay and what value we have to measure we have to measure the base emitter drop and we have to measure the uh, base current in microamperes okay it should be in the microamperes range so we have to measure this base current into um, microamperes okay so these are the input that we have to vary in the base circuit okay we have to take 0 volt then 0 0.3 volt 0 0.5 volt 1 volt 1.5 2 2.5 3 3.5 and so on okay up to 12 volt we can take and then we can uh, repeat the same experiment again for uh, different values of collector emitter voltage 10 volts 20 volts okay so what we have to do first is we have to make the collector emitter voltage equals to 1 volt and then we have to start our experiment so let's begin this so what we have to do is first we have to make this collector emitter voltage that should be 1 volt so i'm just making it 1 volt now we have to start with 0 volt okay so this is our v input okay there i have written as v input so this should be v input so first we have to make it 0 now once you will make it zero obviously when there is nothing is connected okay so there should be a zero current okay so it is like showing in fam fam amperes okay so very negligibly current flowing so that should be uh, means discarded we have to neglect this current we have to ignore this value okay so whenever it is zero volt then this current should be zero and this voltage drop obviously it should be also zero so just note it down into your table so this value is zero this is also zero now when we have to make it 0 0.3 volt so we stop it and then you have to make it 0 0.3 volt okay so once you will make it 0 0.3 volt okay just make it 0 0.3 volt you simulate your model so once you simulate your model you will be getting a certain value so you can see that here it is a 449.64 picoamperes so 
this value you can return as how much this can be written as 0.449 or 0 0.45 uh, uh, 0.45 or you can say because we have to write into uh, micro amperes okay so that value again very small value in fact okay because it is coming into pico amperes range okay so you can make it zero no issues okay because this value is very small okay as compared to micro ampere range okay and this value is around 0.3 volt so you just make it 0.3 volt okay and here you can make it uh, uh, 0.3 volt and then you can write this value equals to zero volt, uh, zero amperes no issues because the current is very small okay now again you have to make it 0.5 volt so go and make it 0.5 then you have to look at this value so that value is coming as 36.637 nano amperes it means that it can be written as 0 0.0366 micro amperes okay and this particular voltage is 0 0.496 uh, volts okay so we have to write this value into uh, volts so you just write this value 0 0.496 so it that should be equals to point four nine six volts and your current is equals to uh, point four nine six volt okay point zero three six six okay so point point zero point zero three six six okay so this is our current now similarly we have to make it one volt okay you can stop it you can make it one volt okay so just make it volt and then again you have to do the measurement so if you do this one you will get this current is you see this first voltage this voltage is 0.638 okay so just note it down 0 0.638 0 0.638 okay and then you have to write the current value so this current value is equal to 3.619 so this value is 3.619 so if you understood you have to keep on bearing the v input like this 1.52 volt 2.5 volt 3 volt and so on and up to 12 volt and then you have to complete this table okay you have to complete this table for vc equals to 1 volt okay so first we have to complete this table so i have already performed this experiment okay so you just take this reading i have already noted down these values so just we have to copy this one you can verify it okay you can verify it just you try to do this experiment okay just you take these values and take the readings okay you take all the readings so once you will do this you will be getting this particular result okay so this result you will be getting once you will keep on varying the v input and then if you are uh, keep on measuring these values so you will be getting this particular result now after doing that again what we have to do is we have to change the vce okay vc equals to 10 volt so what you have to do is again we have to stop this one after performing the experiment for vc equals to 1 volt then we have to make it 10 volt okay so just make it 10 volt okay just make it 10 volt and then again start the uh, your entire experiment again so you know that for zero volt it will be keep on zeroing so if you make it zero volt the values of vbe and ib will be uh, same as zero okay so just to start with 0 0.3 so once you will make it 0 0.3 then you can measure these values okay this value is again 449.6 for pico amperes this value is very small and then again it is 0.3 volt almost 0.3 volt okay so that that value we have to note it down over here again okay so your first value was zero when we input was zero it should be zero and then 0 0.3 again it is 0 0.3 and then 0 0.3 now again we have to make it 0 0.5 so you you can just stop it you can make it 0 0.5 so once you will make it 0 0.5 okay you can execute it again so if you execute it you will get certain value 0.496 and here you are getting 0 0.0366 okay so this way again you have to perform the entire experiment so you can uh, note down these values i have already done this experiment so you just copy this value okay you can verify it by your own by just putting all these values okay and then you can go to this and you can use this data similarly you can conduct the experiment 
for v, uh, vc equals to 20 volt so again i am just taking this data that i have already uh, conducted okay so you just go here and then just try to bring all this data okay bring this data here we will get this results okay so after getting this all results now uh, the only thing that we have to do is we have to plot this curve okay so plotting this curve what we have to do you just select this one okay we can select this v input and then because uh, sorry you have to plot with respect to base emitter voltage fine so just to select this one okay and then again you have to select this one because all has to be plotted into the same figure okay then vbe then again this particular value okay of ib current and then then again select this one okay so this and then again this one okay after selecting this one you can go to the insert here you can go to the charts okay here you can go to the charts okay and then i think something is missing okay so just you try to uh, reselect this one again okay just i am trying to reselecting this one okay something is missing so please try to reselect all these values so i'm just selecting this one okay so after selecting this one you will be getting one chart now you can see we are getting this particular chart okay a various charts you can plot but uh, the chart which is of our importance is this one okay the first one okay just select this one you will be able to plot this chart you can see whatever the picture i have shown you in this picture okay you remember here it is exaggerated okay or even if you take a different transistors uh, or if you zoom out your particular curve then this difference you can be able to see but basically this is not a much difference okay from this graph itself you can see that uh, this graphs are actually overlap overlapping okay you can see the blue curve followed by a red one then the gray one okay so this is our input characteristics in which this particular on onto the x axis we are having the base emitter drop and here we are having the base current okay for different values of our collector emitter voltage so this way you can perform your experiment and you can get the input characteristics now to obtain the output characteristics okay uh, if you want to obtain the output characteristics you remember that what we have to plot is we have to plot these things okay you remember that we have to keep on varying the collector okay so now to obtain this output characteristics as we can see from this particular picture we have to keep on varying the collector emitter voltage and uh, uh, then we have to 